your CID TV News update. I'm Donna Bush. Thanks for joining us. Senior government officials and tourism industry partners are currently attending the 24th annual Florida Caribbean Cruise Association Conference being held in Merida, Mexico. Now, the delegation is showcasing attractions, culture, and activities with a focus on the importance of cruise tourism and delivering the message that the Cayman Islands is open for business. The four-day conference is designed to foster a better understanding of the inner workings of the cruise industry and help attendees improve their cruise tourism business. Meantime, some 50 statisticians representing 21 countries and international organizations are attending three different meetings right here in the Cayman Islands for the first time this week. As we reported on Monday, this week the conference is comprised of the 42nd uh, meeting of the Standing Committee of Caribbean Statisticians, the 27th Regional Census Coordinating Committee, and the 10th Regional Statistical Research Seminar. Now, discussions uh, focus on the meeting's theme, improving the lives of people, advancing the action plan for statistics in CARICOM. At the most basic fundamental level, we must ask ourselves, why are we producing statistics? We believe that the development of any statistical system must be driven by the end user of statistics, which is, as simply put by the theme of the meeting, to improve the lives of people. Minister Roy McTaggart was the keynote speaker. As we just heard him there, he gave a historical perspective of statistics in the Cayman Islands. Attendees are directors and chief statisticians from all over the Caribbean, CARICOM statistics secretariat officials, and representatives from the international and regional organizations, including the World Bank and the Caribbean Development Bank. Well, a big stage variety show was held on Wednesday this week, marking the eighth event held this month celebrating older persons right here in the Cayman Islands. Seniors who attended enjoyed an evening of live performances and entertainment by their peers held at the Harkwell Theatre. Performances included skits, songs and storytelling. The show, hosted by the Department of Children and Family Services in the Ministry of Community Affairs and the Cayman National Cultural Foundation, boasted a large and appreciative cross-generational audience. Following the show, attendees were invited to enjoy light refreshments. Well, speaking of celebrations, Her Majesty's Cayman Islands Prison Service is holding Literacy Fest this Friday, the 27th of October. The event being held at Northwood Prison uh, in the Courtyard and Chapel will include performances from inmates and special guests. The idea is for inmates to showcase their literacy skills and talents during a Literacy Fest, which is an annual festival held to celebrate literacy programs and achievements within our prison service. Well, if you missed today's news update, you can go to the Cayman Islands Government Facebook page as well as the CIG Television YouTube channel. For now, I'm Donna Bush is always thanking you for joining us, hoping you'll do the same again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now.